Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and in this tutorial, we'll make this part in SolidWorks. This would be practice exercise 36 of this playlist, and I will provide its file in the description link so you can download it from there and you can practice. Uh, so let's go to here SolidWorks. I'm using SolidWorks 2020, and here, as you can see, that uh, we have used some basic features like uh, boss extrude, fillet, hole command, cut extrude, and rip. Okay, and in the end, we'll uh, uh, evaluate this part using this command evaluate so that we can check our part that it is correctly modeled or not. So, let's go to a new, select part, and select OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So, first of all, I will change my background to plain white and I will set my units to MMGS. Okay, and I'll go to uh, here sketch mode. And I will use this drawing. So let's uh, cancel this one. So first of all, uh, we'll draw this portion, this view. Okay, uh, that is 60, and this one is 30 plus 20, 50. Okay, and this thickness is 20. So let's go to the SolidWorks, and I will use let's say front plane, select a sketch, and uh, I will start with the two uh, corner rectangles. Let's say one is here and let's say another one is uh, here. Okay. And I will trim this part. Okay. So this dimension is 60. I'll go to a smart dimension and I will change its dimension to 60 millimeters. And uh, this length is 20. I will change this length to 20 millimeters and also uh, this thickness is 10 so this thickness is 10 millimeter uh, you can see that it is still underdefined so I have to uh, make some dimensions uh, so that I can make it constrained or fully defined and uh, this dimension is 30 this is 20 this is already defined so this must be 30 sorry 30 and this point and this point are vertical okay uh, here uh, notice one very important thing and that is uh, we can make one continuous line as well and we can make this type as well uh, both uh, will work uh, same okay so uh, as you can see that this sketch is fully defined and the uh, indication of this that your sketch is fully defined is that uh, the color of the sketch will turn into black okay and you can see here as well this sketch is fully defined now we can apply some uh, 3d features to this uh, 2d sketch so first of all i have to exit this sketch then i'll go to here features extrude and here i will use uh, the direction of extrusion from mid plane okay uh, half extrusion in the right side and half extrusion in the left side okay so as you can see that this extrusion is 55 millimeters and uh, so I will change it to 55 and that is uh, uh, 55 divided by 2 here and 55 divided by 2 here okay I will select okay and now uh, my first 3d feature is done uh, next is uh, uh, we will create uh, these fillets this fillet is 10 and this fillet is also 10 First, I will hide this shadow. Okay. I'll go to your features, fillet, and here I will use uh, 10 millimeter fillet here and here, and select OK. Uh, next is uh, uh, we will create uh, these holes, and here I will create these holes using uh, hole command. And I will create this hole, uh, let's say using extrude cut command. So let's create these two holes using hole command. So I'll go to your features and here I'll go to this drop down hole wizard and I will select this uh, feature hole wizard. Uh, first I will select the position and I will draw two random points. I will select this point and I will select this point and I will make them along Z. Okay. So that uh, these 
two holes are uh, in same uh, plane now i'll go to your type and uh, the size is uh, 10 you can see here this whole size is 10 so i will change uh, oh uh, it is already 10 and through all and now we can uh, uh, define its position or dimension so as you can see that this pitch is 20 which is uh, basically the center to center distance it is 20 uh, the dimension from let's say here is 15 so I will just rotate its view okay so this dimension is 15 uh, here uh, the dimension is defined uh, up to rim uh, so this distance is 10 and uh, which means that this distance must be 20 because this rib thickness is 10 okay and we haven't uh, modeled uh, this rib yet so this must be 20 okay so this must be 20 and now you can see that these uh, uh, this sketch is also fully defined i will select okay and now you can see that we have two holes okay uh, next is uh, uh, we will create this hole and now i will create this hole using simple extrude cut command so i will select this face sketch circle i will make one random circle here and uh, this dimension is 30 so i will change its dimension to 30 okay and uh, this dimension is 25 from this edge and this dimension is uh, 25 uh, you can see that it is still underdefined because I can still drag this uh, circle vertically. So this dimension is uh, let's say 40 from this base. So this dimension from base to this point is 40. And now you can see that the color of this sketch is turned into black which indicates that this sketch is also fully defined. I will exit this sketch and now i can use 3d feature uh, to this uh, 2d sketch features this time i will use this option extrude cut i will select this circle and now i will use this option through all and select ok so this is also done and uh, next is uh, i will create this rib so for creating rib i will use this face and uh, rib command is here and here I will use uh, a line to create this rib. I will select this vertex. I will select this vertex. And you can see that this sketch is fully defined. Okay. Because I am using two existing uh, vertex. I will exit this sketch. And now, uh, now this arrow is showing the direction of this rib, which is correct. But the thickness of this rib is not correct. Uh, it must be let's say this one yes not this one uh, on the left side uh, not on both sides but on the right side okay and the thickness is 10 as you can see here and you can see here as well this thickness is 10 and select okay and now you can see that this rib is also created uh, next is uh, uh, we will apply uh, some appearance to each feature so let's say I will apply some appearance to this rib and let's say it is uh, green and let's say these holes this one and this one uh, let's say I will apply this appearance and uh, these fillets let's say this appearance and lastly uh, these faces I have to select these faces one by one and I will rotate my part also at the bottom and now I will apply let's say uh, maybe 
this appearance and select OK. So uh, as you can see that I have applied uh, uh, appearance to each feature and lastly uh, we will check our part. Uh, so let's say this dimension is 30 that is uh, this uh, rib dimension uh, this one. So I will go to here evaluate and I will go to here major. I will select this vertex and I will select this vertex and now you can see that this distance uh, is 30 okay this distance and you can see here as well this distance is 30 okay uh, next is uh, uh, let's say I will check this radius this radius is 10 so I will select this arc and you can see that this radius is 10 with uh, these uh, uh, center coordinates also let's say this distance this pitch uh, this pitch is uh, 20 center to center you can see here this distance is 20 and let's say this distance is 55 so let's say this face and this face and you can see here this distance is 55 okay and let's say this distance from this center to this base it is 40 okay and you can see here it is 40 this center to this base and uh, lastly let's say i will check uh, this distance this distance must be 10 from the face of the rib to this center of the circle i will clear these selections i will select this face and i will select this uh, hole and you can see that the center to center distance is 10 this face and this center you can see here okay uh, so that concludes this uh, uh, exercise uh, i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions uh, let's say related to these uh, uh, tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and uh, interesting projects